Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be updating your Mac. It doesn't really matter which Mac you guys have, it's gonna be the exact same process for all of you. If you do have any type of MacBook for that matter, go ahead and make sure it's hooked up the entire time. For everybody else that has an iMac, for example, or a Mac mini, go ahead and make sure it does not turn off. So make sure your electricity doesn't go out, for example. Also, if you're working on any projects, be done with them before you do this and go ahead and make that backup on your Time Machine. Time Machine is a program that's pre-installed on your Mac already. If you go into your system, you're gonna see this in your settings. And inside general, you will be able to find Time Machine. Just set it up with an external hard drive. This will make a backup of the entire Mac. So it's not just gonna back up your files, it's also gonna back up your apps, everything that's inside your Mac. So before doing any big updates, you wanna do this. Also make sure that every single app or program that you use on your Mac will be compatible with the latest Mac OS update or else just wait a few months and then do this update. If you guys want to know how to set up Time Machine, I do have a separate video for that, but this video is just about updating your Mac. And I just made a backup, so I'm ready to go. So we can go ahead and go into the top. We're gonna see your app logo. Under your app logo, go right into settings, system settings. Once you open that up, maybe it's not gonna pop out an update like for me. My second option says software update. Maybe you guys don't see that. You guys can just type in up here, update. That's one way to get to it. Or let's say you don't see it for some reason. Scroll down, you're gonna see general, under general, second option, software update. And then from here, we should see this. Now, if you don't see anything, just turn off and on automatic updates. That should refresh things and you should be able to see this latest update for your Mac. Now, let's say you're still having problems and you don't see this latest software update. Well, there's another way. You can go to Apple logo once again, top left-hand corner of your screen, go into your app store and from your app store, you're gonna search for that. So on the top here, you're just gonna type in the newest Mac OS. This is gonna pop up, view, and then you're gonna see right here, you can go ahead and install it. So there's two ways to do this. Usually software updates are only done from system settings, but usually with big updates, you should be able to do them from here. So this is a big update from one OS to another OS. So you can always click on get. So that's your second option. But anyways, let's just go back here. Let's say that you guys see this option. It's gonna be the exact same thing, by the way, whether you do it from the App Store or here, it's the exact same thing. Just click on Upgrade Now. And remember that once you agree to this, you're gonna start the downloading process. The downloading process does depend on your own internet speed. For some of you, this could be extremely fast. Others, this could take forever. So it does depend on your internet speed. Just make sure you're not downloading other stuff. Meanwhile, make sure you have all your programs closed and always make sure you have enough space on your Mac. So this does take about five gigs. Well, it's exactly 4.51 gigs, but you have to assume that you need at least five gigs free of space plus another five just for everything to run smoothly. Now, technically, if you only have 10 gigs free of space in your Mac, your Mac should be running pretty slow by now. So I highly recommend always having 50 gigs, at least 50 gigs free space in your Mac so your Mac can process things, can install things, and you won't have any issues. If you do end up getting stuck because you ran out of memory at any point in time, I do have a video that teaches you how to fix those issues, but that's a separate video. Right now, we're just gonna run this normally, and you guys will see the entire process. Basically, your Mac will restart. You're gonna see an Apple logo loading bar, and then you're gonna be done with the update. This update's a nice update. It's not something that I would say is for everybody because not everybody's gonna need it. Maybe your Mac is not even compatible with this update. Don't worry about it. Whatever update your Mac can handle is the update your hardware from your Mac can handle. So don't worry about tricking your Mac or trying to trick your Mac to downloading a Mac OS that it cannot handle. At this point in time, all we can do is just wait. All right, so if you just left your Mac to be, it would have restarted. You would have seen an Apple logo a loading bar, and then you would be done. The entire process should not take more than 30 minutes for most of you. For those of you with older Macs, it could take longer. But other than that, you can double check that everything went okay. Just go into general, software update, and then you should see that you are in fact all up to date. You also wouldn't notice that your background changed. So your wallpaper, whatever wallpaper you had before, it changed now. So just in case, you can always go into wallpapers and then just take a look at the newest one, which would be this one. Well, this one's one of the newest ones. 
and put dark mode. But anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.